Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Europa Universalis 4 campaign as Albania. Still hoping, still hoping that France can, uh, can make something happen here. I'm thinking Naples is going to join a coalition. I would like to attack them. I'm trying to get a claim on Bari. Um, we have no missions available. We actually are putting down the rebellion in Tunisia. Amazingly, because we got it converted so quickly. We have a negative unrest here now. So, in five months we can pull the army off of Africa and focus our entire force on the war with uh, this guy. So let's take this army down to the smallest that it can be, which looks like it's going to be 14 troops. So let's pull the artillery. Let's, uh, well hold on, let's do this. I definitely want to bring any mercs that we have, so grab the mercs, bring them to Bizert. Grab uh, all of the ca artillery and bring half of the cow. Leave 14 troops behind. No leader. This is our siege guy, he's gonna go to Ruslan. We're gonna head to Narbon, we're gonna help blockade Ruslan for him again. Piecing out Portugal, man. Portugal and England both. That was a huge change for him. Yet he's still on Tech 11. We've got enough artillery here for nearly the full bonus. Let's grab two more to bring it up to 11, just to guarantee that we have the five. He's got the plus five bonus there already. Let's grab our secondary leader. And we'll move up to the Pyrenees. Our manpower limit is, is just doing fantastic. Yeah, I can't get to Vizcaya. Once Castile loses the ticking war score, I think that's... Okay. Now that France actually was able to secure some peace deals, I think that uh, we're going to win this war, and uh, it's going to turn pretty heavily here in a moment once we get to Vizcaya. Enthusiasm's nearly high. Tunisian separatists are almost completely gone. We'll break off the transports to go pick up I don't think we have to worry about the Castilian heavies. They might try to snipe. Oh, that was my galleys. Just the transports that I need. Okay, Tunisian separatists are gone. Another voice, nice wall breach over here. Just going to do a pure artillery siege, really try to min-max my, man my manpower here. And I think we're about ready to start recruiting new troops. We're not at the force limit. Um, I could use like five more cannons. And we'll disband one of the mercs probably after the end of this war. Doesn't even take very much. Three ships, that's it? Three light ships can blockade this province. It's only nine development, but still, it's kind of surprising. I'm gonna swap out the siege leader. We don't have very much artillery with this army, but I think we're gonna go engage the Castilian army. It's got a 0 2 4. We're gonna take a river crossing no matter what. About to take the Pyrenees. He's failed a 49% roll, at least once. That sucks for him. Let's go do this fight. Nice nine, Hoxie. France contributing some cannons that can't actually reach anything. Cool. We'll just stay right here until the siege succeeds, and then we're going to go straight for Vizcaya. Should I be a complete jerk and not offer it, not, not transfer it to him? I mean, it's only six war score, so. As long as I've got a lot of the participation, which I feel like I've done way more than what he's saying. 
Oh well. Well, this is owned by England and we don't have military access. And so then we're getting shut down by other things. Well, England and I used to be friends. At war with neighboring ally. I guess we're going to Valencia. And, uh, Castilla la Vieja. Ottomans have finally decided that the knights need to cease existence. A little concerned that there's too many cannons in this army. We should grab at least six troops. Yeah, let's just grab from right here. Six regular troops. Ones that aren't likely to have combat. And these guys can head over to here. We'll do what we can. If we can just get this damn 25 war score. That's clearly one of the things that France is saying that they demand is, uh, you know, this guy must be part of the peace deal. It's possible I could even just take my navy out there. We could just transport one troop from, like, Gascony to Vizcaya. As is, it looks like we're going to have to siege down uh, Castilla la Vieja. And then we can siege down Vizcaya. It's a shame, though, not being able to get military access here. Nice. That's annoying. It'll take him a while. France has decided that just attacking them into the mountains is, is clearly the, the best strategic mo move they can do. <laughs> is it just me or is the AI even worse in this patch? <laughs> like, they are really stupid. Like, really dumb. The Papal State will see Napoli. So the Papal State is down to a single province of Umbria. Which means we have two claims on Naples. And Naples is not in the coalition yet. Their alliances don't concern me at all. And they're likely to have support from a coalition. As soon as the truce with Savoy is up. So I should attack Naples. And just really bend them over backwards so that they can't actually have any chance of survival. We do that, we separate peace. Now how come you're able to do this? How does this make sense? How can you march to Vizcaya? No, where the hell are you going? Sit! Sit! There! Crying out loud. Yeah, I don't, I don't get why I can march there now. Well, I'm gonna go siege it then. This guy's clearly a moron. Well, there goes our good guy. Our fourth... Well, no, that was our heir who died. Good, 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 good. I mean, we lost stability, which sucks, but he sucked. He was like five monarch points. He's a good commander, but a 325 is much better. And he died while leading troops. That's okay. He died because I was looking at him. You can't do that. You cannot look at your troops. You cannot look at a leader when you are at war. That'll get him killed. Crimea is now attacking Genoa. 
Yes. Keep that army routed so that I can do these these weak little sieges. Looks like we must have had a, uh, a disease outbreak in Granada. Alright. I'm willing to transfer freaking Vizcaya to you if you will just end this goddamn war. Naples has rivaled us, which means they're going to join the coalition soon. Should really probably declare war on him. Call for peace. Hey, it's not my goddamn war! It's not my fault. Are you going to make me separate peace, France? I don't want to lose trust. Alright, so let's let's take a look and see diplomatically. Like, what is it that you want? You want all of this. Is there anything that I occupy that you want? Okay. Here. You can have it. Just take it. I don't care. Just end the damn war. End the war. You have 78 war score. He's on low enthusiasm. That's like a 100% peace deal. Like, what are you waiting for? Just peace out. You're waiting for him to have no army? You're waiting for... us to both have 20 war exhaustion from Call for Peace? I don't know, man. I'm at a loss. You've got to be kidding me. You waited so long that some Aragonese bastards took over, like, the one province that I wanted, and now it's not occupied, and now France can't offer it to me. So you know what I'm going to end up getting? I'm going to get freaking Malta. That's all they're going to give me. Ottomans are at war with Austria. Good. Good, good, good. Well, at least that's going positive for us. This this makes no sense to me whatsoever. Um, we've taken his capital. Great. Here you go, France. Are you just going to carry on doing this forever and just, you know, wait until there's zero opportunity for you to give me something? And for the most part, I'm, I'm just, I'm done. You have 89 war score. There's there's no argument that can possibly be made right now for why this war is continuing. It's the wrong decision. Oh man. I suppose I'm going to have to just try to to take that back. All right, let's see what he ended up doing. Vizcaya, Pyrenees, Girona, Barcelona, and Cape Verde to France. Aragon will cede Malta to Albania. Thanks, France. Aragon will cede Ruslan to France. Castile will renounce their claims. Castile and its all subjects will give up claims in Tunis. They will know their treaty with England. I got 18 of the ducats. I got 5.7 of the prestige. I got 16 power projection. Great. You owe me 14 favors, and you gave me 9 development. I feel shafted. Just shafted. Well, at the very least we can start our war with Naples, but I think that I think that if freaking Palermo hadn't fallen, he would have given it to me. Probably. Spain has inherited the throne of Aragon. He's now officially Spain. I mean, he took, like, basically this whole chunk. But, god, that's such crap.
Papal Separatists. Yeah, I'd say it's probably about time to get to war with uh, this guy. We've got a little bit of war exhaustion to bleed through, and we're getting kind of high in admin. What is our government type? We're a principality. Despotic monarchy. We're about to unlock... Wow, that was quick. We're about to unlock administrative monarchy. For some reason it lists, lists the bonuses twice. Production efficiency and national tax modifier. I think that's all that it is. Which is not really any better than what we have right now. Absolute monarchy would be quite nice. Monthly autonomy change in the dis discipline. That requires admin tech 20. We need a leader down here. By a leader, of course, I mean the best leader we have. Do you want to make a, a general out of either of our guys? I think not. I think they're both quite good. I'd like to keep them around. 3152? A little bit of siege value. Could be useful. Actually, the fact that this rebellion just fired is kind of good. Because that means I can immediately declare on Naples and not really worry about defending it all. So France owes me favors, huh? Great. So we do this war on our own. They're not my rival. Sweden's so far away, they don't matter. East Frisia's non... They don't matter. Trier doesn't matter. This is an easy war. We take Bari and Napoli. We have enough points to core both of them. It's a shame that I was never really able to do a war with him and have him as a rival. We're almost on Tech 13. Naples is, is on Tech 13. So they've got an artillery fire bonus and a few more pips. Shouldn't matter. I think we declare, right? Uh, well, do you have any... AI doesn't really leave their forts mothballed anymore. Let's wait and see if he's dumb enough to put his army back in Bari. That would be ideal for me. I do want to grab three of these cannons, so that we have two two armies with ten cannons each. What are you kidding about? No. You cannot have that alliance. Screw you. Don't you freaking dare. Unacceptable. I'm glad that France has debt, or whatever it was that was preventing France from joining, because if France maintained that alliance and cock-blocked me that hard, Jesus, I would... <laughs> I mean, come on, for, for crying out loud, France, I've got it, this is what land I want. And then they're just like, yeah, sure, we'll ally them. Why not? It's not like you wanted that land or anything, right? Obviously. But we still have our claims here. They're probably going to expire soon. 66. Six years. Depending on how this war goes between these guys, right now they're losing to the Ottomans. Hopefully they're just tearing each other apart. Mm, it looks like Ottomans are doing just fine. I think the Ottomans are going to win. Which means it will probably attack Austria. Hmm. Nice easy war. Sure. Managed to get down here, huh? Well, he can go ahead and try to take that fort. I don't mind. He's probably retreating pretty far away. No, he's going here. We 
lost the effects of trading in one. Okay, we'll put half the navy in the Bay of Napoli, half of the navy in here, and we will get you full occupied and then just peace out. We're, we're, I don't care about the truce timers of these other countries. It doesn't affect me at all. Spain has annexed Lucca. It's fine. So we're just waiting a very short period of time here. Thirty war score. You were the two siege leader, so uh, let's grab you and put you in charge of that army and have you go all the way there. How many cannons do we have here? Ten already. Good. Okay. I just want these two things. That's one hell of a coalition force. 36 aggressive expansions. Pretty high. But that's what I want. Wait, what? We want the two siege leader guy there. And these guys come up here to fight. Alright, I'm going to take a break here. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll look forward to seeing you again in the next one. Thank you as always for watching. I'll see you soon.